Hi, my name is Leslie Mitchell. I'm a researcher um, in the Department of Pediatrics in the Faculty of Medicine and Dentistry here at the University of Alberta. And Leslie, can you tell me about the funding for your new grant and what the gist of the research is? Yes, we um, were just successful in the last CIHR um, competition obtaining uh, funding for a grant uh, looking at uh, risk factors for cardiovascular disease in blood clots and strokes in obese children. And uh, we're very interested in um, determining uh, mechanisms for um, these risk factors as well as looking at ways to um, uh, modify a diet and exercise plans to try to uh, correct these abnormalities that we've observed. It's based on a, an observation that we made on uh, how uh, children who are obese, how their, their blood clots and how it, it uh, breaks down blood clots. And why is it important to look at this system? Um, for s several reasons. Um, the first reason is, is that um, we know that um, healthy children are, are not at, uh, or, and normal weight children are not at an increased risk for thrombosis and stroke. Um, but recently with the uh, epidemic of childhood obesity, we're beginning to see that, um, that obesity in children is an independent risk factor for uh, thrombosis and stroke. And this is a, an, an alarming trend. And um, so in addition to getting blood clots and stroke as a child, we also know that this puts them at increased risk in early, early adulthood um, for blood clots and stroke. Um, there's evidence in the literature that has shown that atherosclerosis, that plaque that forms on, on veins that puts people at risk for um, blood clots and strokes, that is starting to begin in childhood because of the obesity epidemic. So we, what they say is if you want to uh, cure early uh, adult onset um, cardiovascular disease, start uh, looking in childhood and start uh, intervening then. So we're hopeful that once we get to the mechanism of why we think they're at risk, uh, that we can intervene and try to correct the abnormality, as well as we have a, a sensitive marker for looking at the effectiveness of different interventions in, in these children. And how much longer does it take for the for a blood clot to dissolve in a child with obesity? Well, I can show you on this graph. Um, this is a, um, uh, a, a graph that we do. This is a an example of what um, of a blood uh, forming a clot, and then there's a static period, and then uh, the, the clot lysis. And this maintains normal hemostasis so that we continue uh, normal blood flow. And this is this green um, curve is, a, is an adult, um, and the black curve is a, is a normal weight youth. So they're very similar. So what we see is that they generate a clot, and within about an hour, they lyse the clot. And this is what we know as normal hemostasis. And normal weight youth and adults are, are very comparable. However, when we look at the plasma from an obese youth, which is in red, you can see again that they form a clot, and, and you also should note that they have an increased clot. This, this is a much larger clot. And then if we look here, it's taking up to eight hours versus one hour in, um, in the normal weight in adult. Eight hours for, for a child uh, who is obese to lyse a clot. So they make more clot, and then it takes them a lot longer to lyse it. So we can see these, these clots staying in the vessels for quite some time. And this is a, a real problem, and we believe is the mechanism for why they're at risk. And how dangerous is it for these clots to be sitting in their system for so long? Um, it's dangerous in that, um, the, um, for example, if, they, if, the, if the clot is in the leg, it'll clot off circulation to the leg, you'll lose the blood flow to the leg and, and that creates a problem. If that piece of that clot comes off of the, off of the uh, so just chunk comes off, it can go into the lungs. It can cause what's called a pulmonary embolus. Um, that's, there's mortality associated with, uh, um, you can die from pulmonary embolus. And um, if the clot lodges in the brain, you, you get a stroke, um, which is damage to the brain. So not only do they block the venous, the the blood veins in the in the legs and so on. It also can lodge in the heart or in the lungs and in the brain. So so it's it's very dangerous. And it's really important to understand that with the onset of childhood obesity in in say the teenage years, you're looking at 60, 70 years of 
risk for cardiovascular disease, and, and, and a lot of them have these blood clots and strokes in their 20s and 30s.